Do you want to make videos like this or like this? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add these viral Alex Hormozzi style captions or Grant Cardone style captions to your Instagram reels or TikTok videos completely for free. And the best part is you don't actually need any expensive editing software or experience. The app that we will be using for this is 100% free. All right, so let's get to it. How do we add those Alex Hormozzi style captions to our videos if we don't have any fancy editing software or editing experience? So the first step is to download CapCut. You can go over to the CapCut website and then download it either on your desktop or your phone. CapCut is the official editing app for TikTok, which also means that it allows you to do a bunch of other cool stuff with it. And we've made a full tutorial on CapCut that is linked at the top of this video. And best of all, it's completely for free. So go ahead and download it. Once the download has finished, simply open up CapCut and then click on new project and this will open up the CapCut interface and then all you have to do is here in on the left hand side if you're on desktop click on import and you're going to import your video that you want to add captions to and as you can see this is now in my folders and all I have to do is simply drag it to the timeline down below and now this is ready to work with and so what we're going to do is we're going to select that clip and at the top over here we're going to click on text and then we're going to click on auto captions we're going to select the language which for us is english and then we're going to click on create now CapCut is basically auto generating our captions for us and it will add them to the video and as you can see over here these little uh, brown bars are the captions of our video so let's just play that so that you can see what's happening this is the five dollar rule that you need to apply to all of your content if you're using short form video to grow your business all right, so we see that CapCut has auto transcribed our content. So now you wanna check for errors and fix them where necessary. So now that we know that the text has been generated correctly, that there are no spelling mistakes, what I like to do prior to adapting the style is go through the video and really look at is this text placed logically? Are the sentences cut off at the right point? It, maybe we want shorter sentences, sentences that flow a little bit faster on screen. And so that's what we're gonna do now. So for example, at the start, and I'm just gonna mute my audio so that we can go through it without it interfering with me speaking. At the start, I already see that it says, this is the $5, but then rule, is on the next line. I don't like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that first caption and I'm gonna say, this is the $5 rule. And then I'm gonna go into the next one and I'm gonna remove the word rule that you need to apply to all of your content. If you're using short form video to grow your business, Instagram Reels, TikToks, YouTube Shorts. All right, so what I wanna do here is Instagram Reels, and I want TikToks to be a separate caption and then YouTube Shorts to be a separate caption. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn on the audio for a second just to hear when I finish saying TikToks. TikToks. All right, so now I said the word TikToks and I'm still, I've selected this caption. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that split button up here so that it turns into two separate captions. And in the first caption, I'm gonna remove YouTube Shorts and in the second captions, caption i'm gonna remove tiktoks and so what has happened now is that we have this very fluid instagram reels tiktoks youtube shorts there we go and that looks a lot better on screen so that is something that i would advise you to do next is go through the entire clip and simply look at where you want to split certain captions into two separate sentences or if a word should be included on a previous line etc just to make it look more authentic and intuitive for people to read when they are consuming your content on social media. Keeping in mind again that the majority of people consume content on social media with the audio turned off. So you really want people to be able to read through those captions very naturally without it being difficult or feeling too complicated for them.
So now that we've cleaned up our captions, it's time to adapt the style so that it closely matches that Alex Hermosi or Grant Cardone caption style. And in order to do that, you'll have to add a font to CapCut because there isn't really any font in the app that compares to that Alex Hermosi style font. So what you want to do is you simply Google the bold font, download it, and then add it to CapCut. And we already have a full tutorial on that. So I'm not going to show you how to do that right here, but we will link it at the top of of this video and keep in mind that you might have to restart CapCut in order for the bold font to show up in your fonts. So what you want to do is you want to select that first caption and then here on the right you want to make sure that the apply to all box is checked because that means that whatever style we're going to be applying to this first sentence it's also going to be applied to all of the other captions that have been placed on our video and that's what we want we don't want to go and do this manually for every single sentence so make sure that this is checked and then right below your actual text you're going to see font and then if you click on that drop down you're going to see all of the fonts that CapCut has. And then if you scroll all the way down, you're going to find your system fonts. And this is the fonts that you have uploaded on your computer and then CapCut can use them. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the bold font and then we're going to play with the font size, which is right below that. We're going to make this a little bit bigger so that it is easier to read. And then we can go and play around with the stroke, the shadow and the border that can be found all the way down below. So if we open up stroke and select it, you'll see that now it is getting this little outline, which again makes the text easier to read. So just play around with that to the point where you're like, this looks good to me. And I'm just gonna quickly look at it like this. That's decent. And then we can play around a little bit with the shadow maybe also. Again, if you want to apply it, you check the box that turns it on and then we can sort of play around with that. And as you can see, you can change the color and all of that as well. And then as we look at the rest of that video, you can see that that style has been applied to all of the text. So before we start changing the colors or we add emojis or any moving elements, what you want to do is you want to overlay a safe zone template and let me just show you what it is right so you head over to google and you type in safe zone template instagram for example this is fine you can go to johnloomer.com and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna download this instagram safe zone template and then we're gonna head over to CapCut again we're gonna click on media we're gonna click on import and we're gonna click on that safe zone template. And then what we want to do is we simply want to add that on top of our video. And we're going to drag that out for the full length of the video. And the reason I'm adding this in here is because by looking at the video, I already assumed that our captions were falling outside of the safe zone. And when text or any sort of graphics fall outside of the safe zone for Instagram or TikTok, it means that they will be overlapping with the buttons, the native buttons of the TikTok or the Instagram app or with your caption here at the bottom. Now with that first sentence, it doesn't, it's just a little bit, but as soon as we go a little bit further, you can see like it gets worse and worse. So the way that we're going to solve that is by simply making that text maybe one point smaller, and then we're going to drag it up so that it doesn't fall outside of that safe zone. And normally that should fix it for that entire video. So now we know that everything falls within that safe zone and we can start changing up the colors. So Alex Formosi uses a lot of yellow and green. So let's just go in and let's see what it looks like if we just make that color yellow. There we go. So what I'm going to do is again, we still have this box selected that says apply to all. So now all of my captions are yellow, which is fine. We're going to use yellow as our base color. 
So step number six is to add color as a highlight to highlight important parts of your text or what you're saying. And to add color only to specific words, the first thing you want to do is you want to turn off this apply to all feature. So uncheck that box. And this way we can go and highlight parts of that text. And I'm just going to showcase it. I have now like selected the $5 rule. And we can now say, I want that to be red, for example, or I want that to be that more green color that Alex Hermosi uses quite often. And as you can see, you can either just select it in here or you can go down here and select a green that you like. And now you can see that only that $5 rule has been changed in text color right? Okay. So how do you go about creating the effect that the text seems to be moving? Very simple. What we're going to do is we're going to split that caption into two right in the middle where I start saying the $5 rule. So let's listen to it. Somewhere around here, a little bit back and we're going to split that. But this time around, we're not removing any text, right? It's not like the way that we position captions or created two captions where there was one. No, what we're going to do is we're going to play around with colors and font size. So in this first half of the caption, this is the part where I say this is the, and so what we're going to do is we're going to select this and we're going to change that color to that green color and maybe increase the text size just to 20, right? And then we're going to go into the second half of that caption. And we're going to do it for the second part. So we're going to select the $5 rule. We're going to head over here, select that green color, and then increase that font size to, let's say 20 as well. And now it's going to look as if the color and the sizing is moving as we speak. This is the $5 rule that you use for there we go. And so now it looks as if that text is moving as we speak. And now you just do that for all of the important parts of your captions. Hopefully you're enjoying this video. If you are, do us a big favor and hit that subscribe button. That really helps communicate to us that you like these types of videos and that we should be creating more of them. So hit that subscribe button and then let's get back to the tutorial. Step number seven is adding emojis and we'll be using emojipedia.org for this. And the way that I like to do it is by making a quick list of all the emojis that I will need. So I can just download them all at once instead of having to go back and forth. So for this clip, I will need a check mark. And I like this green one. And then what I do is I scroll down and over here with Apple, I will click save this image as, and then save it to my downloads. And then the other one that I wanted was the forbidden sign. I'll just go with that no entry sign and then we'll download this one as well. There we go. And then something else that you can use is Canva, especially if you want some GIFs or anything like that. And so go to canva.com, uh, create a free account, and then simply go to create an Instagram post. And then what I want to do is I want to have some dollar bills, an IG logo, a TikTok logo, and a YouTube shorts logo. So let's just go and find that. Once you've found all of the images that you want to use in your reel, simply click on share, then click on download and then click on transparent background. You do need a paid account for this. I have a paid account, so that's why I'm showing you this and then click on download. Once we head back over to CapCut again on the left hand side in the corner, top corner, click on media and then click on import. And now we can simply select all of the things that we're going to need at once. 
and import them in there. There they are. So I want that dollar bill at the start of my video when I say this is the $5 rule. So I'm simply going to select it and drag it on top. And then I'm going to shorten that to fit that $5 rule. And I can just resize it on the screen and drag it to where I want it to be. I'm not a big fan of what that looks like, so I'm just going to play around with it. I might actually add another dollar bill. Next up is adding our social media icons when I say Instagram Reels, TikToks, or YouTube Shorts. So that's relatively easy. We drag the Instagram logo over here. We shorten it to fit the caption. And then we make it smaller and add it in here. Then we're going to add the TikTok logo. There we go. And there we have it. And now I want to add in my emojis at the end. Step number eight is to add animations or effects. So let's say that I want to add a little effect to this check mark. I want it to sort of swoop in. What you do is you select that clip and then you head over to animation. And then let's take a look. Maybe we can have it slide or maybe we just want it yeah. to shake. Oh, there we go. So what we've done is we've selected that check mark, head headed over to animation, and then you have the in animation, which means it's come it comes at the beginning, the out animation, it comes at the end of that clip, or you can have a little combo animation, right? I've just selected an in animation, I selected the shake one, and then it looks like this. Yes. And then let's do something similar for that no. All right, so for the forbidden sign, I've selected a combo effect and I selected the bounce one and that looks like this. And that looks great. So you can do this with your emojis, your GIFs, but even with the captions themselves. So if you select try again, for example, which is our last caption, maybe you want it to slide down or out of the screen once it's done, you simply go to animation and then once uh, you're in here again, you can select in, out or loop, which means either at the start, at the end, or you want that effect to loop throughout the caption. And then what I want to do is I want it to, I want it to move down. Let's find one that does that. Or maybe a dissolve would be nice as well. All right. So I like that dissolve effect. The only issue that we now have is that it's dissolving too quickly. So we need it to be shorter. And down here, you can change the duration of the effect that you've selected. So let's just really put that at like 0.1 seconds. And there we go. We have a little effect on that final caption. Another thing that you can add to your video is sound effects. Now we've already added sound effects to this rough cut of this clip prior to me showing you how to add the captions. But if you still want to add sound effects, all you'd have to do is you click on audio and then over here you see they have sound effects. And let's say that, for example, you want a transition effect, then you have all of these things in here that you can choose from. So let's say you want a little whoosh or swish effect or maybe a ding. Oh, I actually like that ding. Maybe we can add that to the part where I say like, if the answer is yes, we'll just add that in here and then we'll drag this little audio clip to the section where we want to have it. That's right there. And let's see if that works. Is yes. Oh, I like that. So now we've added that little ding ding uh, effect to when I say if the answer is yes, which gives it that little extra push, right? If the answer is yes, post it. If the answer is no. Because we already had that sound effect with when I said no. So I actually like that little ding when I say yes. So that is how you would add a sound effect to your clip and then you just go through the entire thing and you can add sound effects as you go along. 
Next question would be, what about adding music to your videos? As you can see, you can also add a music here in Kafka. Again, go to audio and then select music and you can add a bunch of stuff in there directly. Now, what I like to do actually is to use a sound directly on Instagram or TikTok. That way you can still use a trending sound. And then even if you really like silence the volume on that trending sound, it could still give you that extra push, that extra reach that you want for your video so that it gets more views. Then before we export our clip, what we want to do is remove that Instagram real safe zone template because we don't want to post it like that. So simply select that clip and then remove it. And now we can take a look at the final result. This is the $5 rule that you need to apply to all of your content. If you're using short form video to grow your business, Instagram reels, TikToks, YouTube shorts, here's the number one question I want you to ask yourself before you post another video. Is this piece of content that I'm about to share worth $5? Is it entertaining, inspiring, or educational enough that someone would be willing to pay $5 for it? If the answer is yes, post it. If the answer is no, try again. And there you have it. Now you know how to add those Alex Hermosi style captions to your videos. If you do feel like this entire process is a little bit too complicated for you, or you simply don't have the time to do this yourself, my team and I would love to help you do that and more. If that is something that you wanna learn more about, simply check the link in the description down below.